Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Feature Friday. Today we're going to be talking about an exciting unit which is the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Packout 2.5 gallon wet dry vacuum. And we are also going to do a couple comparisons to the previous Gen 2 job site wet dry vacuum and we're going to get into whether or not there's also kind of a worthy upgrade if you happen to already own one of the Gen 2 vacuums. Now outside of the packout storage features, this unit does have the powerful Power State brushless motor. So with this new unit here, we're talking about 50 CFMs, which is cubic feet of air per minute, and get about 47 inches of suction. Now the nice thing with both units, generally speaking, is that you're gonna be looking at a handy toolbox style for easy transportation and storage. Of course, this one with the packout, you do get the benefit that it kind of clicks in with the rest of your system. So as far as kind of having it in the back of your vehicle or anything like that, it's not likely gonna be kind of slightly around quite as much as this one has a bit of history of doing. Now in regards to the build and construction, you know, when it comes to the actual, you know, hardware here, if you will, these ones did have the plastic clips for accessing the inside and onboard storage. These ones do have the nice metal clips. And once you open it up, you do have your storage just the same way that you kind of had in the Gen 2 unit here. So the nice thing is that both of them are gonna feature the crevice tool as well as a utility nozzle, and they both have a six foot flexible hose. Now, one major differentiating factor that you're gonna see out of this new packout vacuum here is that it does actually include the adapter. That particular adapter is handy if you're gonna be ever looking to use any sort of orbital sanders. You do have an adapter now that allows you to directly connect the nozzle from the vacuum right into your power tool adapter just to kind of allow that suction just to basically pull all the debris right out of your tool directly. So one of the nice things with the packout unit is it does boast to be about two times quieter than the traditional unit here. In terms of the decibel count, they do claim that you're gonna see about 87 decibel and that's adjusted. While as the older unit by far has a reputation for being a pretty noisy unit. So actually just for your benefit, we're gonna kind of plug these in here and we're gonna get a rating on the noise factor and we'll kind of see how that lines up. Now, as far as the battery runtime, that's gonna be a pretty big topic for a lot of people when it comes to these units. So typically on a high output eight amp battery pack, you can expect to get about half an hour of runtime on the high mode. And then if you have it on the lower mode, that's gonna be a nice thing where you can get about 50 plus minutes approximately, obviously depending on usage. But again, that's on an eight amp battery. So in terms of testing it with different batteries, it's perceived that you get about four minutes of runtime per amp hour on the battery, which is honestly pretty good as far as most people's day-to-day -day kind of usage with these things, especially people who happen to have a good collection of batteries, you're not really gonna have too much of an issue with that. Now, some of the accessories that we're gonna get into are just to kind of help get the most out of the vacuum itself. So there's three different accessories and we're gonna link them in the description below. One of them is the foam wet filter. Now, this one is the 4990-2015. Now, the foam wet filter, the nice thing about it is that obviously if you're gonna use this as a wet vacuum, you're gonna wanna basically open up the hatches, get into the base of the unit. And now this is going to be where you see your HEPA filter. Now the HEPA filter, you're gonna to wanna to essentially eject this unit and then you can use it as a wet vacuum. Now where you'll get the most out of this though is if you get that nice foam filter, that'll allow you to basically kind of pick up some of that extra gunk and things like that. But another accessory that we kind of recommend is the fleece dust bags. You can usually buy these in a pack of three from Milwaukee. And again, a lot of different retailers, including ourselves, we can kind of help you get your hands on these. Now, the nice thing with this dust bag is that it's a really great way to get the most out of your HEPA filter. Now, the benefit that you're gonna see out of the fleece dust bag is going to be essentially that you're going to be attaching it to the inside where the airflow comes in. And instead of basically filling your basin with all sorts of debris and particles, as well as clogging up your HEPA filter prematurely, having these fleece dust bags is gonna capture a lot of that excess gunk and it just helps you keep everything nice and clean and just a lot easier to do kind of like your routine cleaning maintenance on the unit itself as well as the basin. Now, one of the other accessories that is optional, but again, it's a nice touch if you wanna get your hands on it. Milwaukee does sell a round brush tool. 
So having something with a brush end option, depending on what you're working on or what you're vacuuming, you know, or cleaning up, I think it's, it's definitely something worthwhile to think about. So as a final point, we're gonna do just some final comparisons that were, you know, between the two units here. So again, this is the 0970-20, this is the 0880-20, uh, the job side vacuum, this is the brush unit here. So between the two, obviously this one we address, you get about 50 CFMs and 47 inches of suction. The previous unit, you'd get 45 CFM and 32 inches of suction. Obviously storage and compatibility wise, we think the pack out feature alone on this unit is, is well worth it for you know the convenience. Another thing to keep in mind is the noise levels. When we're looking at the decibel count, the pack out unit did rate appropriately at the 87 decibels adjusted as they pointed out. And if you have it on the low mode, you can even go as low as about 80 decibels, which is fairly quiet for a small unit like this. Now the traditional unit here, the Gen 2, we hit about 97, 98 decibels and that's without it working all that hard. Uh, and as time goes on and these units get used more and more, a lot of people do report that they find that their vacuum gets just louder over time, which is fair to say. But if you're already at a starting point of about 98 decibels on a brand new unit like this one here, you're gonna potentially exceed in the 100 plus decibels fairly quickly, which is pretty loud as far as that goes. And typically at that noise level would require earplugs. If you have any interest in talking about earplugs, plugs and things of the like. We've definitely covered that topic before and we'll link that in the video as well. And then last but not least, as far as the battery runtime and just even the options of different power modes, having the option to go out for a high or low mode is quite handy. Not just from the volume or from the noise factor, but just from the battery power sake, being able to kind of control if you know you're doing something that's just not gonna require as much suction power that you can put it on a lower setting, kind of conserve some of that battery life. Or I mean, even if you're working just with a smaller battery and that's the nearest thing that you have to just slap into the unit, put it on low mode and even just get a little bit of that extra runtime while well as the Gen 2 unit, the brush unit, it was on or off. You didn't really have more options than that. So thank you so much for checking us out, guys. It's been a little bit since our last video, but really happy to bring this one to you. Again, this is something that definitely has been covered by a lot of different videos and a lot of different reviewers, but we just wanted to give you guys our own take on it, as well as our own kind of assessment on the noise and decibel rating. We hope you guys are gonna appreciate that, you know, we can kind of provide you with that, that true testing in our form. We're really excited about this unit and to have it featured in our spring and summer collection for 2023. You know, again, if you have anything else that you're looking for, as far as the pack out collection, we have covered the pack out system in the past in a previous video. We're gonna link that as well if you wanna check that one out. As far as the convenience goes, it is truly one of the best systems and our customers absolutely love it. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you did like the video, we would really appreciate a like, a comment if you have any questions or if you have any you know personal thoughts or you know if you wanna kinda of follow our content, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out, it's great for the channel. As usual, we'll typically have a blog where we kinda of take some deeper dive and kinda of have all this information in a written format if that's how you prefer to digest this info. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Cheers.